Hey, fellow shoppers, I hope you have your grocery list ready because we're gonna go into the super duper mart today. I even took the time to clean out our inventory, kinda. So, I mean, you know, we're still probably carrying way more than we need to, honestly. But, I mean, you know, who knows what we'll need or when we'll need it. So, I feel like it's better to be prepared than not. And any of the stuff that I end up not needing. I could scrap or do something with. Okay, well, that's a friend. And these other things aren't being targeted. So it's so good. I don't trust it. I just don't. But they seem kind of dead. And. Here's maybe a friend, potentially. Okay. I am not sure how to make our friend extra friendly. There's probably a terminal for that somewhere. Oh, how cute. I I don't really want to uncrouch to look at it. Oh. I can't imagine it must be pleasant for you, Mom. Uh well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're all going to like pop up, aren't they? I bet this is a trap. This has got to be a scheme. I don't know. Something, maybe? Now that you point it out, that looks like something I should probably investigate. For the cold days, huh? Yeah, getting some pre-war money, some cigarettes. Here's a terminal. It's a novice terminal, so we can totally do this. Okay. What is up? How about gift? Amen. Because every day's a gift. <laughs> cool. What is safety control? Oh, it's for a safe, like an actual safe. And it says the safe lock mechanism is locked, so we're going to disengage that. Check and clearance authorized. Locking mechanism is disabled. That's fairly cool. Let's go to the Protectron control. And it says standard Protectron control interface, version 2.4. This interface should be used by Robco licensed technicians only. Improper tampering with Protectron units may lead to permanent injury. Okay. Status units charging or inactive. Connected one unit. It is connected to this terminal. So let's choose personality mode. Okay, there's default, there's subway steward, there's law enforcement, fire brigader. Medical responder or construction worker. How about law enforcement, maybe? I don't want to make it hostile towards us. But I could do with a friend. I think. Maybe that's good. Medical responder is kind of interesting, though. Okay, we're just going to do law enforcement. And hope that helps and let's activate him please advise any personnel standing near the charge pod to make way okay what's going on what is this that was weird what was that about Up. Protectron on duty is he a friend please be a friend looking fairly friendly okay well if we go along the front here, we can try to loot all of the cash registers. Detected by what? By friend? Okay, hey, can I talk to it? Hey, sweetie. Yeah, huh. I'm not breaking any laws. Along, yes, sir. Oh, yeah, moving along. Okay, great. Any more cash register stuff happening? 
I like how I'm still just like huddling <laughs> the opening of the place. I just, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not sure. I do want to figure out what brought the roof down, especially since Codsworth pointed it out. Whoa, no. What is he finding? Oh, okay, good, 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 good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, it's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Calm down. You're okay. Uh, by okay, I mean dead. You're dead. Both of you dead. Guess what? Your brother, he's dead. We're all good. Expertly handled. Good job. Codsworth. At least they make a fuss when they go to get up, yeah? So those are like hidden over in here. I don't want to hurt that guy. I just want to use that to to check what's alive. Very useful little uh, thing to do, you know. All right, I'm gonna be a bit brave. Oh, we can unlock this. And you know, I probably need to go back to that office and see about that safe because we yes. opened a safe. And yeah, it didn't say that it was in that office, but where else would it be? Maybe at the back? Maybe it's enticing me to go to the back. Look at these friends sitting together, having a nice time. Can I do anything with the jukebox? I can't. Okay. All right. You better be dead and you better stay down. I see skeletons. Okay, I think I need my pit boy light. I'm gonna turn that on. Let's look over here, maybe. What's going on? Oh, you think you're sneaky, huh? You think I don't know what you're doing. Guess what, surprise. Proud of myself. Look at that, so good. All right, I wanna look at these shelves more. But I also want to be careful. So it, is there a way to get in that room? Yes, there is. This is an unlockable door. Well, look at it for like a second, guys. Look at it. it. It looks like one of those unopenable doors that you see places. So I guess I'm going to have to be on the lookout for things that look like plywood, but are actually just very ugly doors. Works for me. Come on, honey. Open up. So that goal that was in here, he wouldn't have even... <laughs> been able to do anything because he's just he's just chilling in here yeah so who are you you're a minute man wow you have a short laser musket and some radix i guess he got got by that dude over literally what literally where no 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 oh no i didn't know mm -mm. i mean it's kind of funny when you think about it i'm gonna i'm gonna whip you i'm gonna whip you i am Look at that. We get an idiot noise and everything. Lovely. I didn't like that <laughs> too much. Oh no, if they're gonna be crawling in the windows, I'm mmm. Wow. I mean that's cool. Like that's really cool. That they did that. What the heck? Yo, what? Did they not expect you to get up here and try to look where the thing came from? Cause. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Look at that. That is... Yeah. All right. Okay. What about this one? Can we look at this one? Not quite as much. Uh-oh. Somebody's popping off out there. Well, that's not my problem. Can I change uh, the settings on that Protectron? I kind of want to switch him to Medical Responder and see if he runs around giving me stimmies or something but my first instinct was to make him protectee against ghouly goose no we're not shooting the boy okay these skeleton decorations are frankly not helping i'm gonna turn off the pit boy light for a second back here because it's it's lit it's fairly well lit. Oh dear. Okay. 
Wow, hi. Are you alive? You're not? Thank goodness. No, it's like a toy alien. I mean, it... Oh, baby. Always oh, getting them. Okay, we gotta help. I hear squishing nearby. Where's the squish? Woo, found it. You know, if you were looking for it, found it. It's right. It's literally right here. Um, you can't miss it. Not too much. Okay. You know what? We need to help him. We need to. <laughs> we need. We need to help him. I don't want the Protectron to die. So I'm Sweet. thinking I'm gonna pop on out and make sure he's okay. He's, he's fine. See, he's got that handled. He didn't even you may need now me. resume your normal activities. A baseball for my bat. Thanks. Wow, there's like so many just coming. Hey now. Don't do that. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, looks like it hurt a little bit, maybe. Okay, let's eat something delicious. What do you say? I'm thinking maybe that other blood bug steak. Yeah. You gonna get up? Go ahead and do it if you're going to. No? I feel like maybe I should just run around like crazy to get them to pop up. So I can just deal with them. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is a common sight. I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be about the way this is. Wow, so many Nuka Colas. And there's a cherry one. What about over here? We have some Salisbury steaks. Insta mash. And I need to go into the middle section of the store. I don't want his fancy hairbrush. I mean, maybe I actually do, in truth, want that fancy hairbrush. Maybe one day I'll be dying to get my hands on a hairbrush that fancy, but for right now it's fine. So where's the where's the safe? Because I opened a safe. And... Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it has some ammunition, a quick hardened pipe, pistol, money, and a silver fork. Okay. Okay. I'm fairly certain we're good to check the aisles now. So there's some sugar bombs here. There's that guy. Excuse me, mister. I'm gonna get some fancy lad stuff. I'm gonna take the melons. I feel like there's no way these melons are good. Why are they even here? Like, who came in here and was like, oh, yes, an abandoned super duper mart. What a wonderful place to put my melons, right? Like, why would, why? <laughs> I mean, come on, they're fresh. They haven't been here for that long. Somebody dumped these melons in here. Okay. Hi. What are you? Somebody's doing it. Oh, yeah, come on in. I'm ready for you. We're gonna party. Like that. Yeah, that's that then. And now I get to look out these windows and see how cursed. Oh, yeah. I love it. Oh, I love it. You know I do. You know I'm up for this kind of landscape. <laughs> it's like they put just enough for what you're supposed to see, but like the minute the minute you challenge it, look. Glorious. 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 No, that's not the right button. This is the button. Learn it. Love it. Live it. Okay. Soap. I don't want the soap. Oh, look at you, Sneaky. Cool. <laughs> this door opens. This is spooky. Hi, come on. I mean, I mean, you know, it's good. Really got me that first time. <laughs> I was expecting one in there. Dog tags. What kind of dog tags? Who's in here eating cereal out of the toilet? Not me. We haven't reached that level in our life yet. Thank goodness. Got Codsworth here to keep me off of <laughs> the edge or whatever. Look at chemistry station. Let's take a look at it, I guess. So it appears I can make a few things. Basically combining buff and other stuff. Psychojet. 
Time slowage, damagey stuff, resisty business, max AP. Not bad. Psycho buff. Kinda kinda the same vibe except more protection-y. Not bad. I can appreciate both of these. Um I'm not gonna mess with them though. I'm not gonna well let's not completely leave. There's fireworks, crazy stuff. There's grenades, not gonna worry. What about healing items? If I start getting antiseptic, I can make stem packs, okay. There's a Mosquito spit? <laughs> we need blood sacks for that. Robot repair kits and all kinds of things. Okay, mines. Syringe ammo. Well, that has piqued my interest a bit. Hmm. Okay. Cool. And I've already got caltrips, so we're, we're pretty... Pretty good. Here we go. Oh! Are you in- Why are you in jail? Why- Why is this- <laughs> Why is he in jail? Look at him! Is it because you tried to rob this safe? No way I can pick this. Oh. Hey, uh, Cosworth, are you, like, pretty smart? Hey. Something you need, Mom? Grab anything useful. Sadly, cannot. Oh, you can't? Dang. How can I maybe knock this over? I'm not convinced that I can. This teddy may have to stay in teddy jail, like, forever. What if I use the baseball bat? Don't worry, buddy, I'm breaking you out of this joint. Except I'm probably not. You seem to be fairly immobile. And there's no angle at which I can look at him and target him. And this chair is not an item you can interact with or move so that's fairly sad what about these do these move they do it's the chair that's making that the way it is i'm pretty sure okay Taking a trip down memory lane with that. buddy can you give me like a single solitary moment of peace okay <gasps> kitty i will take it here's another terminal what is this one gonna do oh no we're floating again don't scare me by getting to the terminal like that's just not fair what is sally I think I pressed the express thing. Let's go back. I wanted to press Sally. Sally! Due to numerous customer complaints over the past couple of months, it is with a heavy heart to inform you all that we had to let Sally go. You may have also noticed that the new espresso machine we ordered has arrived. Until we can make room in the kitchen, the espresso machine has been installed on top of Sally's desk. Enjoy from management. All right, espresso machine. Many of you have expressed concern over the loud clicking noise the espresso machine makes when used. Unfortunately, we won't be able to move the machine for another two weeks. Turns out that the industrial mount we ordered won't fit in our kitchen. We are currently in the process of hiring a contractor to come in and knock down a few walls to get the space required for the mount. Please bear with us, management. Well, okay. Uh. Well, I guess that's Sally's desk right over there. What's in there? What is that? That is a, an alarm clock. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, hello, Sally's desk. Does it do anything? Like, there's that whole little memo about it. It seems like no part of it can be interacted with. And there's nothing interesting at Sally's desk either. So is this just like nice decoration? And why do they need a, a mount for this? Can they not just kind of like stick it in there? I mean, I would, I would like some espresso, please. Cosworth, get on it. You can do that. I know you can. Let's look on our local map. Oh, it's awful. What's the entire point? There's not one. We're just in a black void with a couple doors around. Okay. Let's move towards the middle of this place. Thought I heard a squishing. Anybody out here? If you out here squishing, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you. Well, there's still a few food items left. 
there's that naked guy. Let's go down this aisle. Okay. Plastic pumpkins, gum. On this aisle, there's some wine. And some stout and some empty bottles. I think I would like to leave the empty bottles alone. There's some skellies. But I'm, I'm most interested in this. Like, what's going on right here? Anything we can interface with at all? It seems like it's mostly blocked off for us. We can kind of try to look outside. And maybe it's something we can explore from outside, but Codsworth was like, wow, I wonder what brought down the roof. I mean, maybe that's, maybe that's just, you know, him making some polite conversation. But I'm a little curious about what might have brought down the roof. There's a buff out I almost missed. I'm glad I found that. Uh, yeah, I kind of wish the local map was not so entirely useless, but that's great. That's fine. So do we want to go to the back door out instead of going back out the front? Oh, what the heck? This is still useless. <laughs> it's so messy. That's okay. Let's go this way because there was a door back here. Okay, maybe back there. I do want to get back there. What's the best way to get back that way? Probably that way. Ooh, what is this? Did I miss this? See, it's good that we keep exploring. Guys, what's in here? This is kind of scary. Oh, it's just a little circle. That's not scary. Woo! These are a little bit. Oh, whoa, calm down. You good. Oh, yeah, you fine. That's all right. Looking good. You still have some of your hair. Wow. Lucky you. Because you're worth it, right? Ooh. <laughs> oh, they're just so the way they are. Wow. Wow. Surprise. Is that more of a surprise for him or for me? I'm not sure. Okay. Back to to testing things. Oh, you're one of the one of the guys. Oh wait, your name is Josh. You're not just a random Minuteman. You're Josh. Josh is hollow tape, bottle cap, squirrel on a stick, and I could take his hat. I could look like Preston. <laughs> that might be pretty cute. Um. Let's take those things. All right. Anything over here in this little corner of interest? Stench this place must generate. Mm-hmm, I bet. Okay, well, let's check that holotape. Why? Why do I go to radio when it is in inventory in the miscellaneous section? Okay, Josh, what's up? search for anything that might tell us where they went. The only thing we found was Anthony. <laughs> Must have been bad. They never would have left his body there. I sent Emma down to the loading dock to wait for me while I check on something. We won't stay long. Rubbish. I just want to get Anthony's body and yeah. wait. Cosworth sounds so happy. <laughs> so that's what happened to Josh, huh? Feral ghouls. So why are there so many feral ghouls here? Hmm. Things that make you go. Hmm. Because he said it looked like people were here fighting before him. And then... Ooh. When he was here... There's a window. Come on, bring it! Wait, they already did, didn't they? I've already been in here, haven't I? Yep, I have. 
<laughs> okay, I saw it coming the second time. That's That's got to count for some points, right? I want to get down to the thing below us, so we're going to go around this way. Uh, but anyway, it, he said it seemed like there was a huge fight here, and there was corpses everywhere, and then he got in a huge fight with them, and now I'm here, and even I am ending up in a huge fight with them, so it seems like maybe they are drawn to this place for some reason. Hmm. Well, I have some melons. They give a tiny amount of health. I have some instamash and maybe an iguana bite. I mean, it was technically iguana on a stick if we want to be like very precise with our language. Where is this going to put me? I kind of want to sneak when I go outside. Is it daytime again? The interior of that building was giving me the impression it was very daytime outside. I would like for it to be very daytime. Oh, hello. Are you alive? You were not. Oh, but you are. Hey, baby. Welcome to the party. You know, I wish you wouldn't do that. You come off as desperate if you throw yourself at people like that. Don't do it. There we go. Let's loot this and these and let's check oh it's emma oh she was his friend hey emma you have a holotape too bottle caps corn a nice hat and a leather right arm and another laser musket and we're getting where we cannot actually deal with these things so i will do something about that but i want to hear Emma's holotape first. What the hell is Josh doing? He's been gone for over an hour. We need to get out of here. Oh, poor Emma. I'm just thinking we're already at Concord. If Josh would hurry his ass up, maybe we can get there in time. Shit! Gunfire! Oh. Not good. Josh! Okay. Well, I guess that's the way it was. I don't think I need to be too worried out here. It seems fairly safe. Okay, let's go over to our apparel because I have that nice leather chest piece I upgraded. And I thought that the one on the top of the stack of multiple items would be the one that's equipped. And if you change that one, then it would automatically equip. I don't know why I assumed that, but it's not the way it's working like even remotely. <laughs> So I'm going to change that. We have a lightweight tempered raider left arm. And it's better, but it has raider in the name. So I don't want to wear it. <laughs> uh, anything else? No, pretty much just our decoratives and goodies. Let's hand over to Codsworth some things. Hey, baby, what's up? Let's trade a bit. Oh, you're so sweet. What is sweetie, sweetie, sweet? Okay, I'm gonna go to the weapons, and we just picked up so many of those muskets, and I just, I don't need to carry all of them, so he will carry some of them, and yeah, we're gonna need to go clean out both of our inventories very soon, but that's fine. Right now, let's check this terminal. We gotta slide into place again. <laughs> it's so weird. Remote door control. Okay, okay, place your bets. I'm gonna open this door and it's gonna be good and we're gonna be out in the world and we're gonna be free to explore and have a nice time. Or, I'm gonna open this door and they're gonna be out there and they're gonna be like, rah, 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 rah. Um, which one do you think is the option? I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open this door. Accessing door, okay. How's that going for you? Opening door, all right. Glad to hear it. Are you done? Is that it? I can just leave? Okay, I was expecting something else. Rar! Blargity blarg! No! Nope. They're not gonna do that? They're not gonna throw some... You know... Ghoul hordes at us? Oh. Well. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. I was kind of expecting it. I was like, oh, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be like... Crazy... Zombie waves or something. I don't know why I thought that. I guess just like the whole way it is. Just like the whole way all of that was. 
Well, okay. Oh, there's a terminal out here too, so I guess I could have got in this way, but it's advanced and I'm not, so we can't do that. Well, look at that. It looks like somebody over there is having a little rooftop party of some kind. I don't see anybody over there, though. Things that make you go, hmm. Well, I'm not sure we can get to the top of the Super Duper Mart to see why the roof caved in. I'm pretty sure that it doesn't even necessarily matter. But since Hotsworth remarked on it, I did try to uh, keep it in mind. Okay. Here's some more trash. Are there any secrets in the trash? Anything good going on? No? Nothing too much. I can walk along the top. What's the point? Is there one? No? Well, okay. Let's see where we are right now. Coming out the back of that seems to have put me kind of back the way we came from. So if we go uh, around to the right will be where we started basically, I think. I'm gonna try going this way because there's a tiny opening. And I mean, we're not very fat. I think we can squeeze through. We did. All right, I see motion. I think it's just birds though. There's some kind of like parking garage there. All right. This is still the super duper mark. It looks so different. I guess it's just the side that I've approached it from. And I think I need to go back up that way to be at the buildings I was at before. So I'm not gonna go in the parking garage right off, though it does look spectacularly creepy somehow. That's even in the daytime. Is this the same Slocum Joe's I was in before? It feels like it's in a different position, but maybe it's the same one I actually do not know. It is feeling like the same one. Okay, let's head back into the basement since we're here because I missed something. Can you believe it? Me? Missing something? <laughs> hmm. Missy? Missing something? Why would you even think that I would? I don't actually know what I missed. I just know that I was like called out on missing something down here. Ooh. Oh. Well, how am I supposed to notice secret... Secret bookcase. Elevator is not functioning. Well, then what's the... What's the point? Maybe it will be functioning later. Okay. Well. There you go. You can't say I, I didn't see it because I did see it. But if that's what I was supposed to notice, I don't blame me. I don't blame myself for not seeing that. I really truly don't. Like, who's gonna see that? Somebody. Not me. <laughs> okay. Let's leave. We're carrying too much junk. We, we dealt with a ton of ghouls. I just kind of want to maybe go put stuff away or something. I thought I saw a guy out here though. I thought I saw like a dude, like an actual person. But now I don't think so anymore. I am pretty spooked out at the prospect of going in the Corvega plant, but also it's gorgeous. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, let's go back to the Red Rocket place, why not? I want to put away quite a bit of our stuff. I'll probably scrap some things out of Codsworth's inventory. I know Dogmeat has stuff in his inventory too, but like, I mean, you know, it's not like he's going anywhere. He's just chilling. He's a good boy. He's hanging out. So. Soppy for the old days. Bless you. Let's uh, transfer things. I'm just gonna go ahead and store the junk and get it out of the way. And then I'm gonna trade hey, with you, baby. 
All right, I'm gonna just kind of take everything that I've given him. Some of that needs to come apart. Probably some of the stuff I'm gonna wanna keep and I'm gonna wanna figure out storage for keeping it. I could maybe shove stuff in the tool chest. I don't know how spawning things go. Oh, cool. Oh, I like, I, li I like, I like it. This was open when I was here the first time, right? Because this feels new to me. I don't think I've done this before. I don't think I've played with that before. Very cool, though. Um, let's see about scrapping some things. So what do we have that we can scrap? I kind of want to keep that because that's the first pistol we ever had. I kind of want to modify this hardened sniper rifle. Because, I mean, who knows? Maybe maybe we want to take some stuff out at long range before it sees us, before I get up all in their face with a baseball bat. So... Uh... I don't really know what to do. It has a long barrel at the moment. We could give it... A... No, it already has to go. Okay, these are things it has. These are the slots. These are the mod slots, right? So if I go to the barrel, that's when we can see the barrel options. So there's short barrel, standard, short light barrel for hip fire accuracy. Why would anybody be hip fire in a sniper rifle? Like, I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's the thing to do, but I'm not out here going to be doing it. I'm going to keep the superior range and sighted accuracy with better recoil. Uh, from the long barrel. I'm not going to be hip firing this thing. So that's going to stay the way it is. Let's look at the scope. It's got a medium scope for better magnification and superior sighted accuracy. That sounds pretty good. Better magnification. Yeah, look, that's better than anything I could make because that's already requiring the gun nut stuff. So I guess I need to leave that alone. Let's go back and look at the stock has a full stock. This thing's pretty decent. No muzzle. We could just put a random bayonet on it for bash damage. I'm not going to bash people with my sniper rifle. <laughs> That's not what it's for. Okay, and we can't do any of the other cool stuff for it. I really don't think so. We can look at the receiver. And that's really the last thing we can look at. And it's already, like, fine. So... I guess I'm just keeping that the way it is. Okay. Let's go back. Let's look at my glow-sided pistol. Uh, glow sights, yes. Yeah. Standard magazine. We can't change any of that. Comfort grip. That seems pretty good. We have short barrel, long barrel. I do want this to have the improved hip fire accuracy, inferior range. That's fine. It's a pistol. And then it has a hair trigger receiver. Interesting. Better rate of fire, more sensitive trigger. I'm okay with it. I think I'm just going to keep those the way they are. I've already upgraded the baseball bat for now. I'm not going to be able to do anything else to it until we start getting uh, perks for that. So, okay, I'm carrying tons of clothes, uh, and I, I do like them. I do want to try some of them on, especially like the cute ones. Like, I got the one that has cat in its name from the guy who apparently worships and also eats cats, and that's fine. I just want to know if I can stir stuff in here without it disappearing. Did that just move? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Stop that. I don't want that. Okay, <laughs> let's just scrap some stuff. I have so many laser muskets. We don't need all of those. Okay, we're going back to the crafting bench. And this time, instead of trying to, like, do whatever. Oh, wow, a machete. I didn't even remember looting this, I'm going to be honest with you. But I want to stick with my baseball bat. So we're going to scrap it. Goodbye, machete. Farewell. I'm sure we can get more. I already have, like, one of these. I don't need two of them, I don't think. We can scrap some... Pipe pistols. Yeah, they're just, you know, 
Not really what I want. The pipe weapons can probably go away most of the time. We have quick hardened ones. I just, I just guess I'll scrap them. Like, I don't think I'll use them. And then we have short laser muskets. We only get steel and wood from it. Would it not be better to sell these? I'm going to hand them back to Codsworth until I figure out how I want to handle it. So that, that's fine for now. And then I have extra leather armor I What's could up? do something oh. with. Oh, am I not close enough? Oh, yes, I am. Hey. All right, cute, cutie cute. You are going to carry for me the mini guns again, the laser muskets, and then I'm going to head over into my apparel. And you know what? Why don't you just take most of the clothes? I want to try and sell some of these like I mean it's got 25 value that's not awful you can carry some of this stuff just quite a few things okay I mean he can't carry anymore so he's gonna be over encumbered but until I figure out what I want to do with this stuff it's like totally probably fine oh Hey, and I, I know I don't really need him to have both of those miniguns, but it is what it is. Let's go back over here and let's do transfer and put all the junk in there. And we didn't actually have that much junk from scrapping, but that's fine. It's a, it's a start. You know, it is what it is. That'll be all right. Oh, look at you, cutie pie. I love when he does that for some reason. I don't know. Hey, buddy. Hey boy. Can I pet you or something? I just want to, I just want to pet him. Never mind, I guess. Don't worry, dog meat. Just saying hello. <laughs> He's saying goodbye. He's just running. Oh my goodness. You were cute, Cosworth. Okay. Let's go back. Down. Towards Lexington and the Super Duper Mart and all of that good stuff. I'm just eternally intrigued about that uh, power armor guy we can spot over there. And I do have <laughs> a sniper rifle. Can we make can we make this happen? I'm gonna make a quick save in case we can't make this happen. Look, he's like shining the light right at us. That's kind of terrifying. And we can do alt to hold our breath. Oh boy, I'm spooked. There's a, a turret right there too. Maybe I should go for the turret first. I could also probably try using vats. Ooh. Let's see if we can get him in the in the head. Raider scum. All right, not a friend, not a friend. Let's see what we can do. Oh, literally nothing. Caution, mum. I do believe something is stalking. Oh, stalking us. That makes it sound spooky. I'm pretty sure I'm the one doing the stalking right now. There's like a turret. <laughs> My spirit animal is responding to me. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like gonna die. It's like, it's like gonna die. So what happens if it dies in a power armor? Is it just like chilling from then or does, does it just stay? in the armor like a corpse in the armor do you have to rip him out i, I mean this is kind of terrifying stuff to be thinking about honestly i don't really enjoy it oh no <gasps> wow look at the beautiful wildlife guys i'm gonna use this crit on those uh raiders though wow there's another one over there for real I'm doing pretty decent. Doing pretty decent, I think. There's more of them? I'm not worried. I'll, I'll baseball that guy. Guess what? Surprise! Oh, they fall over! Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, I'm, I'm used to them falling over, but I don't know. The, the power armor just feels so much heavier and like it's got some weight to it. I thought maybe they'd just stand in it the way the armor stands on its own. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? You understand where I'm coming from? I don't think I killed that other one that was over there. 
either. Whoa, buddy, if you're gonna bring it with you, maybe bring it dead. I mean, actually, if it was dead, it wouldn't come with you. Oh, no. I know, bud, you always are, but that's, I mean. Why? 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 Why are we in caution? Okay, well, we didn't get all of the raiders on the bridge, I don't believe. But I'm gonna sneak over into this open building where the ghouls are coming from because that's a great idea and cannot possibly backfire on me. And we will think more seriously about dealing with the Corvega plant next time. Oh, it's incredibly spooky. I love it. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right. <laughs> we got lots of stuff to look forward to. So uh, maybe we'll climb this fire escape thing. That could be nice, I suppose. Uh, yeah. So I hope you guys will look forward to it. And uh, we'll continue with some of this exciting business next time. It was nice to have you along. I'm always happy when you join me on my wasteland adventures. And I hope you have a good one. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye.